Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another toy review, this time for the Takara Tomy Transformers Masterpiece MPG-01 Trainbot Shoki. Alright, it's been a long time since I last did a review on the Transformers uh, Masterpiece toy but I felt I really wanted to do this one because it's uh, really really nice and I, I quite like it and first of all let me just talk about the box itself so uh, I like the box uh, given in the MPG-01 because it's long it's not like a big box so long and sleek okay relatively sleek so I think this makes it easy for storage especially for collectors like us who have no too many toys and too little space to actually store so I think this is nice so I can imagine six pieces of this you know maybe three by two you no know, but it will be easy storage so that's a good thing so I like it the fact that it's packed in trim mode uh, the box is not big and not bulky so it's really really nicely packed really love it uh, you can see the box, box at the back we can see Shoki and then you know uh, size comparison is on the masterpiece figures and here we see the uh, cockpit and then we have the uh, combined mode so for that, without further ado let me just go to the review itself all right so here we have the Shoki figure very very nice train uh, very nice tray and very nice view. So first thing of all, when you when I held the figures, I like, wow, it's really heavy. So uh, despite the fact that there's no die cast or no metal in this figure, it, it's very heavy. It feels very heavy to the touch. So I, I like it a lot. Um, so over here, it rolls really well on on the surface. You can hear the wheels. And over here, you have the weapon. The weapon that you can actually store underneath. Uh, over here. Okay. So even when you store the weapons underneath, right? Okay. The thing about my piece is that the weapon doesn't really hold uh, that well. At, at the bottom, it keeps falling off. Okay, so if you will, it keeps falling off. So even if you actually store the weapon underneath the train, right, it doesn't uh, affect the movement. It can still move actually very, very well. See, my weapon just refused to stay uh, at the bottom of the train, just not sure why. See, it hardly stays, but it doesn't really matter. So prior to the review, uh, I've actually inserted, actually put in the seats for the Micro Man. So you have Takara figures, uh, you can actually put in the seats over here. Okay, so these are the seats you can actually put. So alternative to the seats, right, what you can actually put is actually the shield parts, uh, or the main body parts. So this will be the body. So it comes this way, the shield comes this way, uh, but you can actually store it at the back over here. So there's a hinge, let me see where is it, yeah, this part. Okay, packs it in over here. Very nicely, packs it in over here. Then you just close, nose cone, and I think over here, just lift it up a little bit. Okay, you can just align it back inside very easily. And there you have it. Really nice, really, really, really nice. Okay, uh, it does come with uh, two train tracks though, <laughs> which is really nice. And I, I do like the fact that the train track is not just you know, a dull mono color gray. At least they colored the train track, you know, this golden part uh, on top, which is really nice. Really, really, really nice. Um, so over here, you can just put the train here, Shoki here. You can just roll it there if you want to. Um, but you now you probably need to form like longer train tracks. So with the rest of the six trains, you know, can probably form a very long track. Uh, but you no, know, you probably won't have a space to actually um, display all of them together as in the train mode, in the combined train mode. But nonetheless, still a good effort. Uh, just gonna take this out. The only thing I felt was short for in this entire thing was that you know, Taka told me uh, they did have a feature whereby you can actually uh, have the train, uh, you know, like a train on. On top over here you can actually have the train or uh, simulating is like flying off the track but they didn't give you the stand for it so it's really stupid because they gave you the part to actually put uh pack it here but they didn't give you the stick for the stand so i think that was quite uh you know something that's a shortcoming of takara you could have just given a plastic stick you know just the stand just to allow us to actually you know do what uh the pose that you actually have featured in in your in your, you know, when, when you were, were sh selling the figure. So that was the part which I felt that was shot off. Uh, but no matter because I don't intend to display that uh, to begin with, so it doesn't really matter to me. But you know, for those of you who want to display the figure, you know, in, in the train, in the mode where the train is actually like taking off, uh, that would be a bummer because yes, it doesn't come with it. So, no matter, no matter. Uh, so let's go through I mean, quickly a bio card. You know, this very nice bio card. It comes MPG01, Cybertron, uh, Trainbot's leader, Trainbot Shoki. Very, very nice figure. Uh, stats, you know, we have 6 for strength, not very strong. 6 for intelligence, not very smart. 
10 for speed, really fast, endurance 4, not durable, rank 4, courage 9, fire blast 4, skill 6. Actually, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad for, for train bot. Uh, and I think this is probably the um, second time that we have a show key toy made uh, ever since the original vintage one was done uh, in the form of a Raiden toy. So we did have a show key toy, but I think it was a repaint or remove of Astro, uh, the Henke Astro Train toy, if I recall correctly. Uh, so I think that was the only one that was made. So I think in terms of toys wise, right, we have never had a remake of the Raiden toy or Raiden figure until today. And it comes in the form of a masterpiece figure. You know, I, I wouldn't mind if they come in the form of a Combiner Wars figure, but really nice to see it come in the form of a masterpiece figure. And this definitely is a trial phase for Takara Tomi. Right now we have MPG-01. Uh, I think this will probably open up the no, for us to actually have more MPG figures moving forward. And I think, I personally think the next one, uh, likely is going to be a Decepticon and it's going to be Devastator. Because Devastator, Devastator is probably the most popular Decepticon uh, combiner out there. I think if this MPG-01 uh, works, uh, I think for Takara Tomi, I think definitely they're going to move on to Devastator. But we probably won't see it until another couple of years because this year we're just going to get two figures. Next year we're going to get another two figures. And I think in 2024, we're going to get the last two figures. So I think the earliest we can see Devastator is probably 2025. All right. So without further ado, I'm going to go to the figure review itself. So this figure review, I think... Uh, one thing I should tell you that this this figure the transformation is pretty intuitive. So, uh, for the first one time when I transform this figure, I took a look at the instructions. But following that, I know I can just transform it more or less on my own. Uh, because the transformation is really intuitive. It's really quite fun. I'm just gonna go into it right now. Um, first off, I am going to I think just unpack this. Uh, actually, no, I should just do the legs first. Yeah, it's a bit easier to do the legs first. So I may just pack this back for the time being. Just pack this part back, the train parts back. Okay. Okay, so first off, let's do the feet uh, or the legs. Uh, I think you need to unpack over here. Okay, you need to unpack this blue parts over here. So initially, the first time when you play, it's probably going to be tough to unpack as per most of the new figures. Um, you can unpack this as well. But once you get the hang of it, you know, once you play a few times, it's going to be a lot looser and easier to pack. So you got to unpack the wheels at the bottom as well. And then you're going to split this apart. So you got to unpack this. This part might be a little bit tricky, but it should be okay. So you got to unpack this. All right. So we have the legs unpacked. Uh, next thing, what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to shift this here. Oh, open this panel. And then what I'm going to do is release this over here. Release this panel over here. Just release this. Pull it out. Then you're going to rotate this slightly over here. Okay. Rotate this 90 degrees upwards, okay? Then you're going to pack this back in. Okay. Once you're done, you can actually pack this part back in. And over here, you can actually rotate this. Over here, there is actually a, this part, this plastic piece will pack in over here. And it packs in really, really nicely. Let me just showcase it over here. All right. Hold it in nicely, and over here you flip this downwards. Next up, over here, uh, you're going to unpack this part. Okay, going to push, rotate this. Then you're going to rotate this part 90 degrees to this side. You're going to unpack this a little. Uh, you're going to roll this out a little bit. Okay, and over here, you're going to collapse it. Over here, there's another pack over here. So this pack. We'll go into this hole over here. And there we have uh, one of the legs actually. It's done. Really easy, really cool, very fast. All right. So the other side will be a slightly more complicated because of this part over here. So we're going to go, go through it slightly slower. So over here, I'm going to open this panel. I'll make sure this is out of the way. I'll unpack this gray part as usual. Shift it out. Rotate this 90 degrees. Okay. Then we're going to pack this gray part back into this white slot over here. Okay, I'm gonna move this a little bit downwards first, out of the way. Yeah, I gotta rotate this as well. Rotate this out of the way. Pack it in. Nice. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do next, you are going to uh let me see what should I do next. Okay. Here, you're gonna flip this part in. Okay, 
Okay, you're gonna roll, you're gonna uh, angle this downwards, compress it. Okay, and we're gonna do this part first. Uh, flip this portion over. Again, this plastic tab will tap in inside here. Tap it in nicely, tightly. Then this part, I'm gonna push it. Uh, oh, is it upwards or downwards? Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna push it downwards. So this part, you gotta slide it downwards a little bit. Okay, a little bit of a trap door over here. Oops. Okay, actually, you slide it upwards. Okay, no problem. Got it done. Sliding it upwards, and close it. This part. Okay, so we're almost done for the leg over here. Uh, next thing we're gonna do, just gonna need to unpack this portion. Okay, flip this out. Rotate this downwards. I'm gonna angle this part out a little bit. Okay, rotate it fully. I'm gonna pack this part into this part. Bam. We're here just checking for alignments and everything. All parts good, all in. And we are done for the legs. So over here you can see we are done for the legs. Easy peasy. So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do the the, the um arms and the body. So gonna unpack this. Now over here you're going to split this apart. Okay, once you split this apart, you're gonna pull this here. Okay, unpack this. Rotate this. Okay. 180 degrees. Over here. Then right now over here what you want to do, uh, you can actually raise the head out first, not a problem. Raise the head out. Then this part over here, just gonna collapse these two at the sides. Okay, before I'm gonna do the rest, I'm going to actually um, do the arms a little bit first. So the arms you have to uh, unpack over here. You can unpack the arms over here. Unpack this. Okay. Once you unpack it, you're gonna shift this over. Okay, rotate this down a little bit. So this is like almost one part of it done. Okay, and we'll do the, do the other arm first. So over here, I'm gonna unpack the door as well. Okay, let me just unpack this. Uh, the side. Okay, I'm gonna get the packs off. Might be a little bit challenging. Uh, okay. I'm gonna unpack it from the bottom first. Yep, got it. So I unpacked it. Realistic. it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna rotate it a bit so it's easier and have more clearance for me to actually move this part over. Okay, then we're gonna rotate it back. Okay. So we have the hands free hanging right now, not a problem. Okay. Uh, and then we're gonna do this part. Okay. And we're gonna pack this part. So this part is gonna pack into here. Okay, gonna align it, find the alignment. Nicely does it. Once we got the alignment, gonna push it in, you hear a nice click sound. Over here at the back, we're gonna click it down as well, lock it in. So now we have the arms over here. It's not done yet. Uh, we're gonna have to rotate this 90 degrees downwards. You're gonna pack this in. So this part, we'll pack in over here. Okay, done. Let's do it for the other side. Rotate this part downwards. Then we're gonna peg it in over here. Done. Okay, I'm gonna rotate this upwards. Rotate this upwards. Bam, bam. Right here. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'll get the arms, uh, the hands out. Close it. Rotate 180 degrees. Open the cover over here. Swing the first out, close this, rotate 180 degrees. So one thing about the transformation is that, you know, sometimes when you actually transform it, this hand might pop up, but it's okay. It actually slides in easily. So it's actually no problem that it pops out. So do not panic if you see the arm actually pop up. So now we're going to come to the back of this part. Uh, this is uh, slightly going to be a little bit more tricky, but it's not that tricky. Okay, you got to open up this hatch, okay. Uh, I'm gonna rotate this a little bit here. Okay, make sure the parts actually align nicely. 
and you're gonna release this pack over here. So this part will actually tap into here. This part will actually tap into there. So you need to actually align this whole thing nicely, um, pack it in, then you actually align the sides. Uh, okay, I think I got this part a little bit wrong. Let me just let me just unpack this first. Okay. Unpack this first, pack the head back in. Uh, I think for this, I need to actually move this part a little bit here. Probably, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we actually need to collapse the parts as such. Uh, but make sure this thing actually packs in nicely. Okay. Over here, then we're gonna pack it in. Voila! And we're done. We're done. We're just gonna do some minor adjustments just to make sure it's done. And over here, the chest component. Gonna pull it out a little bit. Rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, press it down. In. Swing down the side, the hip skirts. Okay. And we are done. Here is Shoki in robot mode. Yeah, well done. So we have Shoki now transformed into robot mode. Uh, so like I said, it's pretty intuitive. Uh, I think certain parts we might get a little bit tricky probably here. Uh, at the back, you might want to swing a little bit here. And uh, maybe just play around a little bit. I think once you get used to it, and even if you try it randomly, it's pretty okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry, two more parts I forgot to do. Actually, I have to swing out this. These are the side boosters. Okay, for Shoki. Uh, quick check and I think we are done. Yes, we are really really done for this masterpiece figure. Really nice. So aesthetically, when you look at it from the front, he looks really nice. Okay, uh, even when we look at it from the back, there's not, not, not a lot of keyboard. It's actually quite okay. But if you look from it from, it, from the side, right? Here's where I think I have a little bit of a catch. So over here, you can see that the thighs are a little bit hollow. So it just makes it look a little bit not aesthetically right now, nice. Because you see, you have a very big feet over here but you have hollow parts here so i was wondering whether they could have you know made it slightly thicker to actually cover up the hole whereas if you look at this side right which is the uh left leg right it doesn't look that bad because you know you have at least the train tracks over here okay to actually cover and make up for the hole so it doesn't look that bad now it's also empty but for the right side uh it looks very very empty so uh, what i would actually do is you know, i prefer to do is actually prefer just to you know put the weapon uh slot it in over here Okay, just to give a little bit of more volume to the back of the leg even though it's not a lot but at least it's at least some some cover here to actually make it nicer All right as it doesn't look at least it doesn't look that bad so i think in terms of let's say overall the figure aesthetically looks really really nice okay uh we do have good articulation for the figure you know we have uh the head actually can move look up you know full 360 rotation of the head uh, the arms you know if you remove this i can actually move all the way up 90 degrees you have upwards over here uh, it should have double jointed elbows, but the more the joint double jointed elbows are more for the sake of the transformation into the big mode, uh, the combined mode. Then you have the legs, okay, which actually go all the way up here. Ratchet joints, very nice. Sideways, no ratchet joints, but over here, ratchet joints, ratchet joints for the knees as well. Very nice articulation. Uh, really poseable figure, you know, you can really pose this figure a lot if you want to. And uh, we have, you know, the shoe over here. At the back, you know, the figure looks uh empty without the shoe so if, if you take out the shoe or the chest plate right it looks really empty so i rather i'll actually prefer to keep it at the back so that it doesn't look so empty very nice so i think shoki right if you want to actually present him in a more nice i mean there's a way to make him look nice so you can actually actually unpack the wings okay the wings over here just let the wings come out you know it looks slightly better slightly better with the wings you know spread out over here if you want to you can have to actually have the wings spread out so depending on how you want to pose it you can actually you know have the wings spread out a little bit, you know, making it look nicer. But to me, it doesn't really matter much per se. Yeah. So just gonna do a few size comparison right now. So here is Shoki together with um Sun Streaker. Okay, and here is uh, Shoki together with Skits. You can see Skits is actually smaller. So I think compared to Sun Streaker, the scale is really really nice. Uh, I mean he's typically of the same size. Uh, but compared, let's say grapple, you know, compared to grapple, you can see that uh, Shoki is 
significantly smaller than shorter than grapple um so so this is a point if i feel that you know maybe showcase should be made bigger uh at least you know on, on the size or the height should be on par with grapple because you know showkey transforms into a train uh so be a train board i guess i personally feel that a train board should be like a voyager class size figure rather than a deluxe size figure so you know even for masterpiece figures, you know, let's give them some size. You know, probably, you know, skits and size trigger are deluxe size. Uh, you know, Vo uh, grapple is probably Voyager size, and I would expect uh, Shoki to be Voyager size. It makes more sense for Shoki being a train bot to be bigger. You know what I mean? So I think you not know, if they made Shoki in scale with grapple, I'll be a lot happier. But still, maybe I think maybe in the animation, Shoki is probably just like deluxe size. But you can see it's like slightly taller than size trigger. So I guess that makes sense. Even though it probably makes more sense to me, you know, uh, scale wise, a train transforms back to the robot mode to be at least the same size as a crane. No, a crane. Uh, but no matter, no matter, it's still good, still good. Uh, I guess probably because I think the combined mode is going to be very, very big to begin with. So Takara told me more recently, okay, yeah, we can't make a figure that's way, way, way too big. Let's keep the size in check, which is why I decided to make him into a Voyager size figure. Um, so right now I'm just gonna transform Shoki into his um, uh, combined mode. So for this combined mode, I'm not really used to to eat. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna refer to the instructions while I'm actually doing it right now. I'm speaking to you guys. So first thing first, um, what do I need to do over here? I need to um, keep the fist. Okay, I think I need to keep the fist. Let me just refer to the instructions while I'm doing it right now. So I should gotta lift this up. Doesn't really matter for this for the site for the time being. Uh, we're gonna rotate this. Keep the fist. Rotate it. Keep the fist. Then uh, we're gonna move this side totally up. The wings. We're gonna move this wings totally up. Okay. Uh, next thing we're gonna do. We're gonna move this arms up. Align them with the wings. The side arm, so I'm gonna move it and align them totally with the wings. Okay. Okay, and over here right now, I'm supposed to rotate which part of the arm? Let me see. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to rotate the entire shoulder. Okay, so as such, rotate the entire shoulder as such. Okay, so we got the alignment over here right now. Nicely done. Uh, next thing we're going to do is unpack a lot of things. We're gonna unpack the back. Okay, we're gonna unpack the entire back over here so we're gonna unpack this entire section okay entire section unpack it and we are going to okay push it down uh gonna have the head go down once it's done unpack this is already done i'm gonna take out the chest plate okay and once that is done, we are going to rotate the bottom. I'm not gonna rotate the bottom or just this. Okay, I'm gonna rotate this this part 90 uh, 180 degrees. Okay, so right now it's facing the back. And once that is done, I'm supposed to put this part back in. How am I supposed to put this part back in? Okay, it's supposed to go back in over here, it seems. Uh let's see how, how that turns out. Okay. Let me see how it's supposed to turn out to be. Just flat back, okay. No problem, no problem. Uh, flat these two parts down. And we're supposed to raise them up. Okay, raise them up. Okay. Raise them up. And then I'm gonna rotate this 180 degrees. So right now it looks like this. Rotate this 180 degrees. Hey, okay, and now I'm gonna rotate the upper body. Okay, this is interesting. I'm gonna rotate the upper body. So the upper body over here is supposed to be rotated. Okay, how am I gonna rotate this? Uh, interesting. I'm supposed to rotate the upper body. Let me see how I'm supposed to get this done. Very interesting. Somehow there's supposed to be clearance, enough clearance to actually rotate the body. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Probably I need to get some. I'm, how am I supposed to get enough clearance to rotate the body? Oh my gosh. Ah, okay. Somehow I got it done. Okay, I'm gonna rotate the body. 
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Got it done. Quite nice, quite nice. Got it done. Um, so this part of the train. Okay. Unpacks it. Pack it in this way. Oops. Okay. Downwards. Downwards. And this way. Ah, okay. So this is how it's gonna be done. Ah, okay, so right now I'm supposed to pack some things into some places. Okay, so this part is supposed to pack into here. Okay, this this black part is supposed to pack into the body over here. Let's do that. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so this is done. Uh, pack in place. Right now, shift. Okay, the sides of this. Okay, open up the sides over here. Let's shift them over here. It's done. Train head, the nose portion. Shift it up. Uh, rotate it. Wow, really nice. Rotate this. Then I'm gonna flip this part downwards. Okay, right now I'm just gonna put it here first while I follow the instructions. Let me have an easier view of how to get things done. Okay, once this is done over here, you flip train down and you push it in. Okay, you push it in, right? So this actually aligns in place nicely right now. Okay, you actually slide it in. Quite nice feature. Uh she's sliding in over here. Okay. Uh once you slide it in, <laughs> the whole thing goes down. It's supposed to be two packs over here. Okay, so this two black packs are gonna pack over here, so I'm gonna slide it down over here. Try to get the alignment done nicely first. Cool. All right. Great, great, great. So we're done with the chest part over here. I think it's nice, all pretty much nicely in place. So the most part of it, uh, I think it's probably done over here. Next part we're going to do, okay, expand the arms. The arms are going to pack back inside here. Okay, the arms, the sides are going to pack back. Let me just pack those two parts back here first. Uh, once they're packed, we're going to lift this Ups first, and we are going to rotate the arms. Okay, rotate the arms at the second joint, secondary joint, downwards over here. Okay, it's going to join downwards, and we're going to flip it inside. Okay, flip it inside. Okay, let's get the arms flipped nicely. Okay, this is not that easy, but okay, can be done. Can be done. Can be done. Okay, rotate it. Okay, flip it down. Uh, I see that this part is actually uh, sorry, unpacked, but no problem. I just peg it back. That's not a problem. Let's peg it back over here. Peg. Yeah, all peg back nicely. Okay, so once we've done the arms over here, what's the next step for the arms? I'm going to flip it in. Ah, okay. I think I know where this is going right now. So we're going to flip the arms inside right now. Flip the back inside. Okay. So this is going to be part of the, the torso transformation. Okay. Uh, once we got the arms packed inside here. Next step, what we're going to do, we're going to flip this side. Okay, this side. This is a side. Okay. And then we're going to rotate this. We're going to catch it at the sides. This is going to lock it in place. Uh, nicely. So we're going to adjust this a little bit. So it locks in place. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So this, once you get it in, it lock pack in nicely. Okay. Similar for this side. Let's rotate this. Swing this in. Swing this in as well. This arm is able to pack inside here. I'm going to lock this in place. So this will form. Okay. Okay. Let's try to lock it in nicely. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Okay, but in the process, I actually unpack this, which I'll pack it back in right now. Okay, pack this in back. Pack this in back. Okay. Cool, the torso is coming in looking nicely. Uh, this part is done. Flip this down, flip this down. Because once the torso is already done, you can just flip this down. I suppose lock it in place pretty nicely. 
Okay, flip this down, flip this down. Okay, gonna raise the arm. Uh, sorry, not the arm. Gonna raise the wings, the side wings. So we gotta get this part out first. Okay, gonna swing this part out. Okay, swing this up, swing this up. Likewise for the other side. Okay, lift this up. So the back wings are actually done as well. Uh, okay, let's see what else I've done. Okay, pack it, every, everything is packing tightly. Okay, well done. Uh, okay, at the back, we're supposed to open up this too. Okay, then we're supposed to swing the legs. Okay, and then we're supposed to swing them back. So, furthermore, so right now, I'm gonna press these two parts together, these two packs at the back. You can see these two, I'm gonna pack them together. Okay, and over here, just gonna rotate it 190 uh, degrees. Done. Okay, and then we're just gonna get the chest plate over here. Okay, I'm gonna rotate this a little bit properly first. Okay. Then we're gonna get the chest plate, and we're gonna just gonna pack the chest plate in over here, this part goes here sorry goes here pack it in and there we have it the chest component wow well done so this is the uh top torso of Raiden okay the combined form of Raiden uh really nice apologies it took a while for me to to assemble this part because I wasn't really um familiar with this part of the transformation but over here you can see that you know this is where the arms are gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be ratchet joints, so good thing. So I hope you know that the ratchet joints will hold, and then yeah, we know for sure you know the bots, the right hands are gonna just slide in here. So you're probably gonna let's lift this, slide in, and this will form the arm. Similar for the other side, just gonna slide in. So this is how, probably how it's going to be for the combined mode. And when you move this, you're gonna see that the wings actually move together as well. I am just hoping that you know at least for the, the combined mode, the arms will not be too heavy and this can actually hold its weight that's what i actually hope for uh we do see that here i think over here we do have the panel for the head so i think over here the head will just slot in pretty okay i think the back is pretty okay as well the side looks okay um then the question over here i see is that how we're gonna pack the lower body so the lower body wise you know second the torso not sure how we're gonna peg it in um but i'm sure we're gonna find out very soon when we have the second part uh, there might, it might be packed in over here, there's a small hole over here, but I think this hole is just for the display uh, For you actually, this, you know, uh, put it on the pole and for display, but uh, Really curious, you know, and wonder how they're gonna do the transformation for the the lower part, you know <clears throat> I don't think it's gonna be this way, I think this part is probably gonna stay uh, Probably gonna stay here, most likely gonna stay here uh, So I really wonder, you know, I really wonder how it's going to um, combine uh, Gonna be really interesting because I don't see any other packs over here uh, for the combined mode. Yeah, and hopefully, you know, when it combines, this robot will be very stable. Because if you were to tell me that this part is gonna be the only part hooking and combining the robot, right? I think it's gonna be not gonna be very strong. Uh, but we're still in the early stage because we still still do not have any um, pictures of, of the lower part of the body. So the next two trains are gonna be the legs. So we're not gonna see anything much um, for the time being. But then let's see, let's see, this is the torso and we let's see the torso compared with uh, Sun Streaker and then compare with Grapple. So we do see in the torso, you can see how big this robot is going to be. So let's imagine that Sun Streaker transforms into the arm. Uh, we can see, you know, roughly this is going to be how it's going to be like. It's going to be huge, it's going to be huge. So I think robot-wise when it stands with the legs, it's going to be quite huge and quite tall. I think which is quite, quite cool. So really looking forward to it and hoping to actually see more parts of it and then you know hoping to get the lower body soon at least we can actually get some parts formed up cool so here's charles uh i think personally before that i think personally i feel this is actually a good attempt from takara tomi to actually uh come up with the mpg series uh really really looking forward and i have high expectations for it as well as per most of the collectors as well so i hope that uh the final combined mode will be you know, stable, sturdy, and uh, hopefully it lives up to our expectations. So here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time.